So with so many different frameworks and technologies to learn, should you spend time learning jQuery in 2020? So jQuery's got to be one of the most long-lived frameworks or web libraries that's been in use with JavaScript. It's been around since the mid-2000s, about 2005, 2006. So there's two ways you can look at that. You can think, is it a library that's really mature and it's been tested and can be used in a variety of applications, or is it that it's a bit old and it's outdated? And depending on who you speak to, you might get the answer of don't learn it because it's outdated and it has no use in modern web technology, which is a reasonable statement for the most part. But in this video, we're going to consider the pros and cons of learning jQuery in 2020. So first, I've got some stats for you about jQuery. It's used by 73% of the 10 million most popular websites which I'm not sure where I got that stat from or how they've actually validated it, but there is some truth to it in the sense that it is used in a lot of popular websites. Uh, it became popular in the mid late 2000s, I'd say started around like 2005, 2006, and it was definitely popular in the 2010s. Uh, 3.4.1 was the most recent release in May of 2019, and it's got about 50,000 GitHub stars with around 3 million downloads per week on NPM. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you've got an idea at least of what jQuery is, but it's basically a tool or a library that is used to do several different jobs, including manipulation of the DOM or just even finding elements within the page, and then do more advanced things like sending AJAX requests, manipulating the DOM, and things like animations, form validations, and a whole host of other applications. So all those things that I've just listed, you basically don't need jQuery for anymore, simply because modern browsers can do all of those things for you, they've got everything built in, and jQuery is really useful at a time where browsers didn't actually support all of those features, and you couldn't rely on each browser having the same implementation, or at least having the same features available. So jQuery is quite a nice way of just being able to standardize your cross-browser functions and basically allowed you to write code that would work in the majority of all browsers. So let's answer this question, should you learn jQuery in 2020? And there are a few rules that you can follow to work out whether or not you should put this into your training plan. So are you going to be learning about or creating apps with a modern framework like Angular, React or Vue? So if the answer to that is yes, then you probably don't need to spend time learning jQuery. All the features that jQuery would provide to you will be incorporated into those frameworks. And generally those frameworks won't need and won't play very nicely with having jQuery integrated into it. So you're kind of wasting your time by learning that as a technology when everything will be included within your Angular, your React or your Vue frameworks. So another thing to consider is, are you going to be building websites or small vanilla web apps that aren't using any frameworks? And if that's the case, then jQuery probably isn't a good choice again, simply because you're including an outdated dependency just to do things that your browser will already be able to do for you. For example, you don't need to use jQuery's Ajax functions because you'll have the Fetch API built into the browser, which is a really good modern alternative. Another thing which will probably mean a no for putting jQuery into your learning plan is if you're going to be doing a lot of back-end development work. So whether that's Node.js, Python, or some other kind of technology on the back-end, something server-related, so jQuery is not really going to be that useful for you in that instance because you're not going to be directly working with HTML pages, and obviously jQuery is mainly a front-end library for you to use. So I've given you plenty of reasons there not to learn jQuery, but are there any times when you should put jQuery into your training plan and take the time to learn it? Well, the simple answer to that is yes, but it depends on the technology that you might be using in a potential junior developer role, or if there's a specific bit of software that you're going to be building websites, plugins, or extensions for that already has jQuery built in as a dependency. So if you have any interest in working with any of the open source applications like WordPress, Drupal, Magento, for example, they tend to usually already have jQuery built into them, so you can make use of their functions, and at some points you actually need to understand how jQuery works in order to use some of the themes and the extensions that they provide to you. And especially if you want to start making your own themes and extensions, you need to have a good understanding of how the different parts of jQuery work and how you can use them to build your own parts of that application. Also, if you are applying for jobs at the moment or will be in the future, have a look at the sort of jobs that are in your local area that you'll be applying for and see what type of technologies they require. They may specifically list jQuery, but especially if they've listed something like WordPress, Drupal or Magento, then you can be sure that they'll actually require that as a skill, or at least that you've got an understanding of how jQuery works and can use it in some capacity. 
Also, you might consider when you're applying for these jobs, companies that have legacy products, because if they've created something 10, 15 years ago, chances are they use jQuery, and if they haven't actually taken it out of their application by now, the companies that you might be working for might have a requirement that you understand how jQuery works. So there's a few reasons there why you should learn jQuery in 2020, but don't forget that it's a fairly simple framework on the outset, just to understand how it works and how you can select elements, set up an Ajax request, do some animations. It's not actually too taxing to learn, especially when you compare it to one of the modern frameworks like Angular, Vue or React. So if you do end up applying for one of these jobs and they require jQuery as one of your skills, don't get too freaked out because it doesn't take too long to pick up the basics of how to use it. Uh, a few hours online with some tutorials should get you sorted, uh, at least with the basics of uh, selecting elements with the jQuery framework and possibly making some changes and maybe even sending an Ajax request. All those things are fairly simple and once you've got the fundamentals you should be able to run with it pretty quickly. So just to sum up, should you be learning jQuery in 2020? Well, for the, all those people that are saying, no, don't bother learning it, it's out of date, they're probably right and you probably shouldn't be learning it, especially if you're learning a framework alongside it as well. But if you do have a requirement to be working with some open source software or a, a job is offering a position that does require it as a skill, then it is obviously probably worth learning it and it should only take you a short time to pick it up. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.